Okay, so you want to look at the different graphs. So let's look at a bar graph. Actually, I said line graph, right? Line graph first. So when you go down to a line graph, it's going to ask you background color. That's just the color that you're going to have in the background. Let's leave that white. Grid color, I would either leave black or maybe if you really want, do like a light blue. Okay, but let's just leave it black for now. No. Okay. And we want it to be 2D, position right, grid, six lines, that's fine. Okay. Oh, so up here, you're going to have, that's the design. This is, they, they've updated this since I've done it. So this is the data. This is where you're going to put in your data. So the title, let's say we're doing it bacteria over time. Okay, your x-axis, that's, and I didn't even show you, that's left to right. You're going to title it. So let's say time, days. Your y-axis, that's going to be amount of bacteria. Okay, source you don't need to worry about. Okay, and it says five, one, okay. And this is under value, that's where you're going to put your data. Okay, so let's put the minimum value at zero, and your max value is just going to depend on what you have. So I'm going to say 100 because if I'm looking at bacteria over time, 100% means the whole thing's filled with bacteria. Okay, so item label is going to, uh, you don't really need to worry too much about that if you're doing a line graph because that's just going to be um, like if you have different groups. Okay. So um, you might want to say, you could say day one. Yeah, you actually will need this for day one, day two, or maybe you want, and maybe you want to skip day three and four and look at day five, day 10, day 12, okay? Now, if you want more than this, you can go up here to items and you could put, let's say we want seven, okay? Now, you get seven, okay? Does that make sense, you guys? Day 15, day 20. And then value. Let's say the first day there was only 1% of bacteria. The second day there was 5%. This is where you plug in your data. Does this make sense? So I'm just going to put random numbers in. But for you guys, it's not going to be random numbers. You're going to be looking at your data. That's why at home you need to be charting your data. Maybe day 5 we got 10%. Day 10 we got 25%. Day 12 we got 35%. Let's say we got 50 here, and by day 20, we had 75% of it, okay? That's under data, okay? Now, labels, this part's just the foo-foo part. It doesn't really matter. It's just saying, what kind do you want? Don't get fancy-schmancy with it. Don't, I mean, you could use these right ones, but you want it to look professional, okay? So I'm just going to kind of leave this alone. Preview is going to show you what it looks like. And there you go. There's my graph. I previewed it. Okay? Now, the only thing is, so I have time days, amount of bacteria, bacteria over time, and boom. Now, if you want to change that color, you could go to data, and you could change it. Maybe I want it to be red, because that's going to pop. Okay? But maybe I want the points to be blue, so you can see what the difference is. Okay? Now when I preview, what? oh, I didn't hit update. That's, that's why I didn't hit update. Update. Okay. Now when I hit preview, it should work. Boom. Preview. I don't see the blue. So, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's because of my data. Uh, it says point. I don't know why. Okay. Someone else can figure that one out. Okay. Now, when you get your graph, you want to hit print, save. Download is just going to download it for you, so that way you can, you can um, have it as like a PDF. Okay, see? Download, PDF. You could do a PDF. You could also do a PNG, which is a picture, or a JPEG, which is also a picture. You want to either do a PNG, a JPEG, or a PDF. I would recommend the PNG or, J or JPEG, because that's going to be a picture that you can copy and paste to something. Okay? So if I hit that... And I hit download, boom, there it is. I have a nice picture. There's my graph. Any questions? 
Let's do the bar graph, yes? Okay, so let's start a new graph. Now, if you start a new graph and you haven't saved it, you're going to have to start over. Okay, let's look at a bar graph. Let's say we're, com okay, now it's going to ask you direction. Up and down is fine. If you really want to do horizontal, it's fine. You don't really want to worry about stacked or, or, or true 3D, 3D. Rectangle, I would keep it at rectangle. I wouldn't do cylinder or triangle. If you really want to, I guess. It's just a different shape of the graph, but let's just keep it simple. I'm going to keep it vertical, rectangle, okay? Grid colors, black, that's fine. That stuff doesn't really matter. Background, I want to keep my background white because that way it, it, I can see my data, okay? Now data, once again, it's the same kind of stuff, graph title. Let's say I'm doing video games and heart rates. Okay, my x-axis is going to be the heart rate. The y-axis, actually my y-axis should be heart rate. The x-axis is going to be types of video games. Or just maybe you can just say video games. The y-axis is going to be heart rate. Okay? So the first one, let's say the first game I'm doing is Fortnite. And let's say the second game I'm doing is Paladins. Okay. Shh. So for the colors, now here's the thing. You want to have two different groups. Okay? Because that way you can have two different colors. Okay? Yeah, what's up? Can you change it to two items, like two games? Yeah. There you go. So you want, let's say that's zero, and let's say this is 100. Okay, I'm going to preview real quick just to see what this looks like. I think I may have done something wrong. Oh, i got to put in my data, obviously. Let's say this is... At first, we got a heart rate of, I, I don't know anything about heart rate, but let's just say it's 150 beats per minute, which means I have to change that to 300. And let's say the second time it was 135 beats per minute. For Paladins, let's say it was 145 and 160. I might, that might not be the heart rate. I mean, I could totally be wrong on this, guys. So I'm not, I'm not really worried about that. I just want, I just want to show you. Okay, blood pressure, I, I, we could do that, yeah. Well, blood pressure is going to be around 120 to 130. Okay, now if I hit... Oh, I didn't hit update. Thank you. I needed to hit update. Now if I hit preview, boom. That's cool. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, that's what happened the first time. That's what happened the second Now I might want to change it with my data. I might want to say that this is Fortnite and this is Paladins. Okay. Um, I think that'll work. Let me see. Oh, you're right. Make sure you hit update, guys. And if you forget, Unique's going to remind you. Just kidding. I'm, I'm just joking. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's say this. So what I need to actually change, because purple doesn't represent paladins. Purple represents the second trial. So I need to change that. Okay, this represents trial one, this represents trial two. You guys see how I did that? And then hit update. Now, this should make sense, yes. For trial one, Fortnite got 150, Paladins got 145. For trial two, Fortnite got 135, Paladins got 160. This makes sense now, does that, okay? Does that make sense, you guys? Yeah. All right, guys, so that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna make a graph. Now, you need to determine, hey, what, kind of graph am I going to use? Is it going to be a line graph? Am I doing something and how it changes over time? Or am I comparing two different things? Okay? You might need both. You might need to say, hey, I'm doing, you know, bacteria with coins and bacteria with money. I'm going to need a line graph for both of those to see how they change over time. And I'm going to need a bar graph to show which one had more bacteria. So you might need to combine it. Okay? Now, don't forget, after you preview it and everything looks good, go to print save. Save the graph. Download as a JPEG or PNG. You could also do a PDF, but I said JPEG and PNG are going to let you copy and paste. Once again, labels, all they do is just change the labels. Let's say I want it to be fancy like this. Let's say I want my labels to be red. Okay. My font size, let's say I want it to be 22. Update. When I preview it, look. 
See, there's my labels. Not that crazy. Okay. Yeah. What's up? What if you put bunny six? It would be bigger. That's that's it. Okay, guys. Any questions? All right. I'm gonna go ahead and stop my video.